In this video, we are going to configure and install the Rofi plugins. As we saw before, we don't have any plugins available in the official Debian repositories. We could try to add repositories from other distributions, but I think it is more interesting to learn how to compile the plugins. The first plugin that we will install is the Intelligent Calculator plugin. In the official repository, they indicate the dependencies and the steps to compile, so we proceed to install the dependencies. Now we proceed to compile. A possible error that I found installing plugins in other distributions is that the binary is not installed in the desired location. For example, in this same computer I also have Void Linux installed in another partition, and the Rofi plugins are installed in this location. In the case of Debian it seems that the plugins have to be installed here so you will have to investigate in which position the plugins should be placed to work correctly. To see the keyboard shortcuts, you can go to this i3 configuration file. This is the shortcut to display programs. This is the shortcut to display the calculator, which fortunately works correctly. This is the shortcut to display the clipboard manager, which should already be working because we already installed and configured green clip. And this is the shortcut to display the active programs. Also clipboard manager of images should already be working, only that we still need to configure the preview. We will do it in a few moments. We still need to install the Emojis plugin and the File Browser plugin. We proceed to install first the File Browser plugin. The process is basically the same, we clone the repository compile and install. And ready, we see that indeed the plugin has been installed in the correct location. We just need to give it permissions so that there are no execution problems. Since this file is owned by root, we have to ensure that other users can also run it, so the permissions would be these. And that's it, there should be no problem. This plugin allows us to have a quick access to several locations that we define we will do that in a few moments, for now we proceed to install the last plugin, the emojis. Again, the process is the same, we install the dependencies, clone the repo, compile and install. In this case, I am going to make a small script that does the whole process. This can be useful when there are many installation steps. Once compiled, we proceed with the installation and test if everything works.
We see that indeed the plugin works, but the emojis are not displayed as desired. Basically we have the same problem as this user. To solve this we have to install the font Noto Emoji, we install it like any other font. But before updating the font cache we have to create this configuration file. In case it already exists, you will have to modify it in such a way that the same structure is maintained. Now we proceed to update the font cache. And ready, the emojis are displayed correctly. Now let's copy my personal configuration of Rofi. In case you already have a Rofi configuration folder, make a backup, and proceed to clone my repository in this location. And that's it, you should now have the theme and keyboard shortcuts activated. You should also have the clipboard manager for the images working. Note that this clipboard only supports images up to 500 kilobytes. Let's test if everything works. Indeed, everything works correctly. The last step is to modify the list of shortcuts of the file browser plugin. You have to modify the file main DIRS, which is in this location. Here you can add as many shortcuts as you want. To use it, move to the desired folder, and to open the terminal in that direction press Shift and Return, and then press Return. And that's it, this will open the terminal in the desired location. There is an additional plugin that serves to show the scratch pad of i3. If you do not use i3, there is no sense that you install it. I will leave you the link to the repository in case you want to install it. And so we conclude this video, we already have our Rofi completely configured. In the next video, we will learn how to install NNN and its plugins.